Who needs another one? I'll cut these in half. It wasn't that long ago that a simple pleasure like playing with her dogs would have been impossible for Liz to accomplish. A back surgery in 1999, done in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, left Liz with chronic pain. For years, pain ruled her life. Because of the nerve injury, it causes pain throughout my uh, left leg, left hip area, and down my left leg to my foot. And it's a deep, aching, burning kind of pain. There wasn't really any sort of activity that I felt I could do that uh, over a period of time that wasn't going to cause more pain to come back. Liz's doctor prescribed oral pain medication, but she built a tolerance to medication, and there were side effects. I always felt dull. I just, you know, emotionally dull. The pain was in charge. I mean, I just turned my life over to this pain and felt like nothing is ever going to be the same. I'm not going to have my life back anymore. I won't ever be able to work again. I won't, you know, I won't, I won't, I can't, I can't. And I became suicidal. Hey, Liz. Liz's life changed when she was referred to the UW Health Pain Management Clinic and met Dr. Nalini Sigal. I think they must have a mantra at this office that says, the patient has pain, they are believable, and what they're telling us is real. What we strongly believe, all of us who work here, the philosophy is patient is at the center of the treatment and we provide interdisciplinary, multimodal care. Tell me, how's your pain today? Um, about one. We all as a group will think and see how is in this patient's uh, particular case, what are the treatment options and treatment modalities that should be used and implemented. In Liz's case, Dr. Segal recommended a pain pump implanted just below her skin. The pump delivers pain medication directly to the area on the spine that is causing the pain. The advantage of doing a pump or doing an in injection into the spinal canal instead of taking by mouth is someone who's taking about 300 milligrams of morphine by mouth, which is a large dose, huge dose, uh, they may require only a milligram of morphine to get the same or even better effect with less side effects if it's given into the spinal canal directly. Have you heard this? Not everyone is a candidate for a pain pump, and it's oftentimes a last resort for patients suffering from chronic pain. But in Liz's case, the pump was life-changing. The side effects I have, I can't think of one. Actually, and right now, I'm sitting in front of you now with no pain whatsoever. Now, that took a long time, and it took um, increases of the medicine as time went on, but I'm at such a low dose of the morphine, I'm at a much lower dose than even the lowest doses of the narcotics that I was on. The long and short of it is, I can do lots of work in the garden, taking care of my animals. The other day we were at the dog park and I walked a fourth of a mile to a half a mile around, did it twice with the dogs and no problem whatsoever. Liz has had a pain pump for more than a decade. She stresses it's not a miracle cure and she still has some bad days, but pain no longer runs her life. The pit of chronic pain, it's dark and it's sad and it, 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 it just grabs onto you and won't let go. And I feel like I clawed my way out of that pit. And with the help of the pump and with Dr. Seagal, once I got to the top, I just thought, okay, let's start living life here again. <laughs> what a sweetie.